guys, how's it going? Um, holiday season is right around the corner, so as always, um, I'm thinking about what I can do and what I can give for gifts. So I have these little jars. Um, I have a variety of them. Some of these are actually from um, We Yogurt and uh, the rest of these are just odd and little bottles. Um, so what I'm going to do is, in this particular video, I've washed these, I've cleaned them out, they're nice and thoroughly dry, and what we're going to be doing is coloring these with some acrylic paint, and I put a little heart underneath here um, to catch some of the runoff paint, because there will be quite a bit of runoff. And once these are painted and completely dry, they make wonderful candle holders. And then I'll show you how in another episode to make the candles to go inside them. So right now what we're gonna start by doing is I have a very, very full cup of paint. And I'm just gonna start running it around the sides. And I just want to get a little bit of coverage. There we go. And let's see what we got for coverage here. Kind of move some of this paint in the other direction. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And now that we've gotten that covered, I'm gonna move some of this stuff out of my way so I can Put this to one side, let it dry, and then we will continue on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to very carefully take this from the bottom, okay, I'm just going to take this. And put it right over here. Let it just drip down. And get this up. There we go. Now, all this excess paint that was from uh, coloring that is going to go into making a nice little heart. And I'm just going to keep turning this in different directions. Till I get full coverage. So now with the same amount of paint I have two projects done and we're going to keep doing this um, time and time again till we get all of our um, canvases and all of our little jars covered. So now that that's going, oops, I'm trying hard not to touch too much while my hands are this wet. Um, so we're going to come back in here and just put some more of these cups down. And I'm going to take and put my canvas down on top of my canvas. I'm going to go ahead and throw my glass jar and let's see, yeah, I can leave that there for the moment. And now we're going to go for the second one. And this will be cool. Whoop. Get some of this paint sent back that way. All right, so this is our second one. And what I'm gonna do is, like in the last one, put my jar to one side. Uh, there we go. And now I have all this wonderful, gorgeous paint to work with. And I can already see a lot of it coming off the side. So we're going to bring this back up and put it in the center. 
I don't like to waste paint. And now we're going to start working this. Um, kind of just try to use my cuppy fingers. Um, a little cuppy hand. There we go. So we're just going to work on stretching this and see what we can get out of it. And just kind of work it over the side here a little bit. And bring it all back into the center. I know that uh, you can't see this, but what I'm doing is recentering my paint. And once that's done, I'm going to come down here off of this side and I'm going to get some of the paint off my hand just to help this move along a little bit better. And we're going to come down off the side and straight down. And as long as you've got your hand there, you can keep all that paint from running off so that you have more paint to play with, more coverage to play with. And there we go. And we're gonna come down off this corner. So in a very, very, very short period of time, I have two glass containers that are ready um, to dry and let's see, there we go. There we go. Kind of facilitate this a little bit. So now I have two glass containers that are drying nicely. And I have two little canvases that are drying nicely. Um, and once, like I said, once the uh, jars are dry, it takes, um, before I put um, my clear coat on these and clean them up, it takes about three weeks for them to completely dry. And I'm gonna just run a little bit of paint through there. Um, Cause I saw a little bit of a bald spot and let that run off. And let's see. Do that here too. Kind of just run a little bit of bead there. And this is just using up the last little bit of the paint. So there we go. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this. I hope I've inspired you to. Um, to try to work on making gifts from scratch. Um, it's actually fairly easy. It's fairly inexpensive. And um, it's really nice because people will turn around and instead of getting somebody a gift card, you're giving them something that you made, you actually thought about, you chose the colors, you chose the theme, you chose how you wanted everything to look and then you set about doing it. And for people that get these as gifts, I guarantee you they're really, really appreciative of the fact that you actually spent the time to make something unique for them and to think about them and to find ways um, just to, to make them smile and, and know that the gift that you got them was not just off a store shelf because you had to get a gift. You actually put a little time and thought into it. Those are my favorite gifts to give. I uh, frequently at Christmas time and birthdays, I will give some of my tomato sauce or pickles or um, apple butter or paintings or candles that I've made but all of it's got the same theme in that they were all homemade. They were all made from scratch. They were all made from love. And when you do this, you're giving somebody a little piece of yourself. 
Um, anybody can go to the store and pick up a gift card or a hat or a sweater or a scarf, whatever. This tells people that you actually considered them. You chose colors that you thought that they would enjoy or you chose food that you thought that they would like, but it gives a personal touch to the gift. And I find most people, most people, excuse me, um, really like that. You know, it, it means something special to them to get something that you actually made yourself. Um, anyway, that's, uh, that's what we did for today. I've still got a few more to do, but I gotta find a place for these guys to dry, an appropriate place for these guys to dry. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I have, I inspired you to do something bold and courageous, um, whether it's making a bath salts or candles or paintings or canned f jarred food. Um, try to add a personal touch. Try to add a little bit of love and a little bit of yourself to whatever it is that you do. Um, be fabulous, be adventurous, be bold, be daring. Um, be yourself, most of all, and enjoy the process. The process is honestly a lot of fun. Anyway, that's it for today. Um, we will, like I said, once I get all these jars done and they're all dry and they're um, varnished and so forth, I will come back and show you how to make candles out of them. I promise. Okay? Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.